here we are. The end of the road. The final goodbye to our friend Adobe Flash. We shall start the ceremony by tossing Webkin's diamonds at the casket. Hello, I am Minister Nathan Dunn. Yes, I am an ordained minister. Can we get a picture of my certification up on the screen there? I've been saving this category because personally, Adobe Flash MMOs are some of the closest to my heart. Yes, I loved Flash games. And yes, it is technically a Flash game, but it's different in a way, you know? So let's begin with the first Flash MMO I ever played. Webkins was an interesting game. What it was basically was you would go to a store, you would purchase a stuffed animal that was a Webkins stuffed animal. And on its collar or tag would be a code you can enter on the Webkins website and you could bring that stuffed animal into the game. Now as a kid, that was a wild concept that you could bring your stuffed animals and a video game and, and put them together to make art. Have I done a chef kiss this every single episode? I think so. <laughs> In case you were wondering, the first Webkins I got was, I think it was a cow. It was this cow, exactly. And I remember going home, logging onto Webkins, creating my first username ever. This was my first username to ever be created. And it was Kauf with an F. You see, I wanted it to just be cow, but cow was taken. So what What did young adolescent Nathan do? He just slapped an F on that bitch and called it a day. I absolutely hated Artie, and I will, I will tell you why I hated this fucking man. This is a traumatizing tale from Nathan's childhood. When I was just a young boy, I was at the curio shop, and I was guaranteed to get a Webkin's Diamond. I was guaranteed, like, the next item I was going to get would, would be a Webkin's Diamond. And what do I get? Well, not a Webkin's Diamond, damn it. So you want to know what I did with all my youthful rage? I changed all the desktop icons to be named Artie Sucks. Yeah. Yeah, that'll, that'll show them. I loved Webkins. I accumulated a total of three Webkins. I had a cow, I had a tiger, and I had a seal. And you wanna hear something sad about Webkins? They're all dead now. My Webkins are dead, your Webkins are dead. Anybody's Webkins that haven't been played with in seven years are fucking dead. Now I'd like to do a scripture reading from Adobe Flash Bible. <clears throat> a reading from Club Penguin to the band. The server has automatically banned you for saying a bad word. You said, F you, you slimy ass penguin dick, puffle loving big bad mother. You Club Penguin, I'm pretty sure, was the second MMO, uh, Flash MMO I played. I did play like WoW and City Heroes and all that stuff growing up. My username wasn't Kauf this time because Kauf was taken. Um, so what did I do? Did I add a number? <laughs> well, kind of. Uh, my name was Kauf Sweet 16. Not a good name at all. I was not 16. I was 8. Calf Sweet 16, I, I'm sure I probably took that name away from a sex offender. Because that's the creepiest name ever. I, I guarantee people probably thought I was a 40-year-old a pervert playing Club Penguin. And I was just an 8-year-old kid trying to vibe, throw some snowballs, 
dance in the cafe. The greatest thing about the game was the Pizzatron 3000. I loved that mini game so much. Was my igloo impressive? No, not at all. Catch me looking like a fucking normie with a a blank igloo and a red puffle while while, while Benjamin Cool over here has has every puffle known to man and his igloo has three rooms in it. I wanted a Club Penguin membership so bad. I so bad. But I never got one. So if you had a Club Penguin membership growing up, congratulations. You you won childhood. You won. Hey! You won! Wow! Awesome! Amazing! Wow! I <laughs> I do have a confession about Club Penguin though. So you wanna know what I was doing when Michael Jackson died? I was playing Club Penguin. I remember it clear as day. There was a babysitter over. He had the TV on, watching the newscast of the live footage outside of the hospital where Michael Jackson had passed away. And I'm just sitting here like, hey, look at me. I got 3D glasses, <laughs> woohoo. I wasn't doing it in spite of Michael Jackson passing. I love Michael Jackson, okay? But I was 12, so please don't come for me, all right? I was 12, I was a kid just trying to play some fucking Club Penguin while the King of Pop died. I, I have nothing but fond memories of this game. So uh, I guess thank you, Michael Jackson, for creating a weird connection between Club Penguin and your death, so. Uh, thanks, I guess. Oh, God. Before we say our final goodbyes, does anybody have any final remarks? Because, uh, I have one. It's personally my favorite memory with Adobe Flash. Adventure Quest Worlds is the game that I still play well into my adult life. I played it like last week, actually. Don't judge here. The Nathan Dunn Show, we don't judge unless the thing you're doing is illegal. Adventure Quest Worlds is a game developed by Artix Entertainment. It was released in, I think, 2008. It is a story of an adventurer who is you who is trying to save the realm of Babylon. I have played this game for well over a decade, about 12 years, or coming up on 12 years here. That's pretty much all the information you need to know about this game, is that you're just trying to save Battleon. So now, without further ado, let me flex on you with my Adventure Quest Worlds account. This is my channel, damn it. I can flex on you if I want. Hey, what's up? Uh, editing Nathan here. I'm very tired. Uh, if you don't want to see me flex my adventure quest stuff here's a timestamp. you don't you don't have to watch this if you want to please do because i show some sick stuff but if you don't want to see here's a timestamp. hello and hello to my roommate over there i'm recording this while she's watching hoops Trash. yeah she's watching a bad netflix show anyway allow me to flex on you and her with my Adventure Quest Worlds account. So this right here is my house. As you can see, Julie, can you see? Ish. All right. There is a, uh, a giant hydra, as well as there is a giant. I thought that was a shadow. No, it's a, a big dragon fucker. <laughs> this is the main hallway. We have a worm playing drum set. I have two fireworks. You see, Julie, if you click these fireworks, they'll go off. This is just the courtyard. Let's travel into my house. This is a throne. Here we have a little statue. I can change my skin color up here. And I can change, oh, this is the armor accessorizer. I'm sorry, we'll get to the hairstylist later. This is currently where I can accessorize my color of my armor. And I have a few statues. Uh, I got this statue. Uh, it's the in memory of Lakin. I just kept killing him, got some money, and I bought his statue. Here I have some skeletons, and I have some portraits here, and some skulls. See, these skulls come with the house. I didn't put these skulls here. Ah, this is my library slash dining room, and 
and in my library slash dining room, I have a bunch of little, I have little stuffed animals, you know, sitting around the table, ready to eat some food. I have my table right here. It's set with, I believe that's some soup that is on the table, and maybe some uh, tofu and water. Don't make that face. Here's more skeletons. Ah, this is my bedroom. This is where all the magic happens, truly. Really. This is where my character sleeps. Uh, I have a little stuffed animal. I have a lot of stuffed animals. And an egg. Did I have my egg? I don't understand why we're doing this. So you see this little mirror full of monsters? This is where I can style my hair. So I click up here, and I can style my hair however I want. Yeah, look at that. Ah, here's my fighting room. So in the middle, there is a prize piece of candy corn that these two little little fellas are fighting over. These two little guys. And there's a piano in the corner. This is my holiday room. As you can see, there's a Christmas tree a wreath. I have it decorated for Christmas, which is just around the corner. I have my giant Christmas tofu or sushi. I don't know my foods. <laughs> so that's that. Now, let's look at my bank. So the first thing, Julie, we're going to look at all the classes I have to rank 10. If you don't know, rank 10 is the maximum rank that a class can reach in this game, and I have a, I like to collect rank 10 classes. So I have my barber class, this is going in alphabetical order here, it's a rank 10, he cuts your hair. Are you falling asleep? I have my bard class, it's one of the worst classes in the game. I have my classic pirate, I have my dark blood storm king, are you eating beef stroganoff? I have my Doom Knight. I have my Dragon Slayer, which is, okay, Dragon Slayer might arguably be the worst class in this game. Draco Warlord, Evolved Shaman. I have my Healer class. Infinity Titan, which is Thanos. Legendary Hero class. I have my Legion Doom Knight, which is one of my favorite classes, personally, for solo kills. My Mage Rare. You see, Julie, uh, I forgot what year, but the, the mages were reskinned and I think also respect. And the Mage Rare is arguably worse. However, it is a good flex to show that you've been playing a while. I'm almost done with all the classes. I have like, I think like 15 more. I have my Mind Breaker class. Ninja, Pyromancer, the Ranger, the Rust Bucket, the Shadow Stalker of Time. I have my Shaman. Now don't be confused between the Shaman and the Evolved Shaman. They're two very different classes. Stone Crusher. I have my Sword Master. My Swordmaster Assassin, the Thief of Hours, the Undead Leprechaun, and finally the Warrior Rare. Any questions about any of the classes? What's, what is the difference between the Evolved Shaman and the Shaman? <laughs> well, I'll show you. My, I regret the, my question. The difference I between... My question. So I only show stuff that I personally am very proud of having. I have my 27 Honorable Blade, which means I didn't tell someone to go fuck themselves in 2017. Ah, we have Binky's Unihorn. This is a chain fire blade. You see, this is from Dragon Con 2012. I purchased this and I have kept it ever since. I have both the chainsaws from the Halloween event of 2010 and 2011. Is this good content that I am presenting to you right now? No, it is not. I'm sure a lot of people have clicked off of the video by now. But if you're still here, thank you. I'm only showing the cool stuff here. Um, so this is the Doom Dragon Mount. It looks like you are riding the dragon. However, in reality, it just looks like you are fucking a dragon whenever you walk. The Evolved Blade Master is personally one of my favorite armors. It's when I'm feeling kind of edgy and want to look cool. I can put on the Evolved Blade Master armor and look pretty dope. This is the hand-drawn J6 armor. This is the Infinity Titan Throne. Basically, you can look like Thanos with a flying house, I almost said house, a flying chair. This right here is my fucking Pulit Surprise, baby. This is my big shit. This is the J6 Pirate. You can no longer get the J6 Pirate armor. It is my biggest flex. I know, whoa, is right. This is another armor that looks like you're just fucking the animal that you're riding. I don't know why they keep making these. It doesn't work. 
This is the Not So Invisible Ninja. I like to use this one kind of because it it just makes you all like a silhouette. And I like to do it with unarmed, so it just looks like I'm a, I'm a naked man running through the world. I will show you my favorite item in all of Adventure Quest worlds. This right here is from 2010. This is the Frost Moglin on your back 10. It is just the cutest little thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And I have never used any other back piece other than this little guy since 2010. Because just look at it. he's so cute. Like look look at him, Julie. Look. That is my uh, Adventure Quest Worlds bank account and my house. Uh, I'm level 73, so I'm not really necessarily the uh, the most avid grinder of the game. So I don't really grind levels all that much, so I'm only level 73 out of, I think the level cap's at 100 now, which is crazy. So I got a long way to go, but uh, uh, back, back to you, other Nathan. <sighs> so here we are. It's the end of an era. Careers were built off of the software. Passions cultivated. Anybody with a mouse and a computer can make some beautiful things. So, Adobe Flash, I say this with only love. Goodbye, sweetheart.